hello virgo welcome back to my channel and welcome if you guys are new so this reading will be for the sign of virgo sun moon rising and venus signs virgo we're gonna draw some cards and see what messages come through for you today concerning you and your future love your current partner or who you have on your mind at this current time Virgo, this is going to be a reading for Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Signs. So not everything that I see that comes out or that I pick up on in today's reading will resonate with each and every single one of you. And in the case, your energy does come through strongly and I pick up on that Virgo. Just know that I have no control over it. However, if you wish to know more of its energies and the ones that I see today and what it means for you specifically, we can do a personal reading and that we look at the energy surrounding you in a situation or a person, how they view you, how they think and feel about you, the, their intentions towards the situation, if you should pursue whatever it is that you have or wanting to pursue. And that's just one of the common questions that I get, but we will take a look at it individually as all situations and all scenarios are unique and all questions here will have to be addressed specifically. Details on how to get a reading with me can be found in the description box below this video, Virgo, and I do have a lover special for $33.33 should you guys want to take advantage of it. You guys are actually the first for me to make this announcement. It just came to me. I had actually forgotten to mention it in my earlier readings. Um, but I have actually taken into consideration to leave phone readings. Um, yeah, to do phone readings. If you guys are interested, I'd like to start off with doing them first for people who I've already read for. Okay, so if you've gotten a reading from me, lover special full reading or emergencies and you want, I know a lot of you have asked me in the recent weeks and months and I really thought about it, couldn't really decide. I'm now kind of at the fence of saying yes. So let me know what you guys think, how many readings I would be doing and I will get those set up, but yes, they will be almost like a full reading, but you just get to ask more questions, okay? And I'm going to first keep um, have them available to the ones I've already read for, okay? Now, Virgo, let's start with your reading here. Let's see what happened in the recent or distant past for you. Ooh, we have the Hierophant. We have the Six of Cups, and we have the Six of Wands. I love this energy for you guys. So here is this feeling of accomplishment. You have a lot to be proud of, a lot to be excited for, and things are starting to really fall into place for you. Okay. I feel like in the recent or distant past, yeah, things could have been very complicated, but now you're kind of getting into the groove of things, okay, with the Six of Wands and the Hierophant. This is now finding your flow, finding that rhythm, okay, there's more of this, okay, you kind of know what it is you're doing, you may not have all the answers, but we're getting somewhere here. There is a particular connection with a particular person also. Taurus might mean something to you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius might mean something to you. They play a significant role in your life, this person. That was also a blast from the past. I'm kind of getting here for some of you. Now, the way the two of you connected was so surreal. That's what I'm seeing. Um, you never really saw this happen, neither did they. They just kind of showed up, reappeared, and you guys connected. Like, it was just fireworks, okay? It was kind of, I mean, not maybe like fireworks, but I'm really seeing, you know, this feeling of union, this feeling of, like, where have you been my whole life? Like, I needed you at this precise moment. So you couldn't have picked a better time. Either that happened to you or this happened to them. 
a very synchronistic, perfect timing. And it's almost like the universe puts you two together at this precise time, at this precise location for a particular reason. Now, there were some hard lessons learned from this too. Okay, I'm not going to sugarcoat it and tell you that it was just Skittles and rainbows and unicorns and, you know, fairy dust. There, there were some hard times and some struggles and challenges in it. And I feel like that's what one of the things you had trouble coping with and perhaps still coping with at this current moment. Um, there were definitely lessons learned. There were definitely a, I don't know, this feels very spiritual in nature. Like the connection itself, I'm really getting a very spiritual bond, okay? A very intense connection. One which you have felt, not have felt with anyone else. You can't really recall a particular moment that felt quite just like this. This was strangely, uniquely stand out alone, different from all the rest is kind of what I'm getting. For others of you, this became a higher level of commitment. Others of you, I just feel like the bond intensely grew and grew really quick. You guys became like almost like two peas in a pod, Bonnie and Clyde. It was just very like in unison. And you had a very good understanding of this person and them, you. It's almost like you guys lived in each other's shoes or walked in the same footsteps but in separate lives but kind of came to this point okay there there is definitely a lot of um i just i really feel like this energy right here just it just brings back so much i feel like for some of you like i am really getting this is someone who you may have known um like blast from the past okay like when you were younger or you may have mutual friends relatives friends co-workers cousins something like that here i see a lot of pictures on the wall so it could be a yearbook it could be a journal it could be you know you have pictures they have pictures um with somebody that you know Okay, and so many here actually saw someone's pictures years later, and that was kind of when they decided to reach out to somebody because they were like, damn, they look good. Okay, that's for some of you. Look at that. I cannot make it up. I got the two of cups, you guys. This is what came out. Okay, Virgo, I see where your reading is going, where your my spirit guides is guiding me in this reading. You have somebody here. Divine counterpart, soulmate, twin flame kind of stuff. Okay. You found this person, just two of cups. You wanted this person. They wanted you. Both of you guys both were very proud. It was almost like bragging rights for somebody. Like, damn, yeah. You got that? Let me show her all. Let me show him off, you know? Like that. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. And there is really like, I don't know, this like unbelievable feeling. We'll clarify this, okay? Oh, yes, but I had a feeling that we were going to get to the uh, parts where something happened. Because <clears throat> remember, I was like, there was a tough lesson learned. I wasn't going to sugarcoat it. Yeah, so something happened here with the Ten of Swords. So, wow. We had this undeniably insane connection like it was like bliss then we have it came to a halt and we are now in separation is kind of what I'm getting now the two of you may be still on talking terms I feel like there is still somewhat of a connection here or there's a way to get to this person see this person communicate with this person or there's still some way to reach out to you or you them but I'm not getting that anyone's really taking actions on doing that. And so they, they did in the past, they've stopped. There's definitely this um, really strong, intense regret that I'm feeling on your part, Virgo, or theirs, maybe both. 
okay um i don't feel like this is what they wanted to do i feel like they may have broken things off i feel like this could have been the person who decided you know it was what it's over it's done i'm hearing somebody here is like lose my name lose my number lose all contact with me don't want to see you again it really resulted into a flaming turmoil that's what i'm seeing i'm actually being shown right now like the five of swords and the five of wands Okay. I really feel like here you two, I mean, you maybe, I don't know why, it was like the fight and the argument, it wasn't productive. In fact, it felt like an empty victory. No one lost, no one won. You know, somebody here wanted to be proven right or just kind of had the upper hand, maybe just for ego or pride. But in a sense, they felt like in the end, they lost everything by doing that. And it was completely useless it, it wasn't it wasn't it was out of hurt I, was, it was, I wouldn't even say out of spite but you know having some kind of resentment after a time after a period of time maybe somebody here was not opening up to you how they felt you felt like there was something else going on yeah i just told you five of swords five of wands and this is the empty victory card you see these two people here he got stabbed in the back twice He's still kind of like ready to fight. He's down. He's hurt. He's given up. He's like, fine, you win. You know, there's just no point in this. I don't know if this is the man, last man standing was you or it was with them. It really doesn't matter who. But I'm seeing here in this situation between the two of you, and it could have been both of you, was like, what are you talking about? Like, no, this is this is kind of like a blow for a blow, you know? But then somebody kind of dealt the below the belt you know what I mean and it just kind of really just left a really sour bitter taste in someone's mouth and I feel like that's kind of what just became of the situation Virgo what a reading let's take a look and see what's going on in the present moment right now we'll take a look at your person's confessions because I feel like in this reading there are definitely some Okay, we'll take a look at the confessions with the Hierophant and the Ten of Swords. I have a lot of water energy. Virgo can be any signs. I have air. I have air, fire, earth, and water. Okay. So here, let's take a look in your present moment. We have the Eight of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, and the Chariot. Okay, so you're moving forward, but I see that you still feel slightly confused by which direction you want to put your energy on because both paths right now however way this applies to you hopefully this makes more sense to you guys than it does to me both requires work but where do you want to spend your work on i feel like some of you may be at a crossroad here there's two relationships here needing saving and they both require a tremendous amount of energy <laughs> so for you like fuck my life but what do i do there could be some friction here with this person so there could be some external struggles with this connection maybe others not having others approval maybe people don't quite accept it um this could be you this could be somebody you know somebody they know um but i'm really getting here you know with the two of swords the cherry and the eight of pentacles i feel like you really want to move forward right now but before you decide to move forward with this impulsive spontaneous action to move forward you really want to make sure that is what you really want to do whether it's to this person or move on with your life. I feel like whichever direction that you are going to decide and take, you are going to focus tremendous. I feel like you are really devoting yourself and telling yourself you're going to devote your time and energy to this. Like if you want to try it, you're not going to do it half-assed. You're going to go all the way. But before we decide that, let's make sure as what we really want to do is kind of like the energy that I'm getting right now. If this isn't you, this is your person, okay? And their energy coming through is how they feel about this connection at this time. Let's take a look and see what the future energy holds about this. We have the sun, Virgo. What can go wrong if you have the future, if you have the sun in your future? The, f the sun is the happiest card in the deck. <clears throat> 
could also be a Leo, but I'm seeing here, um, I would not be surprised. Oh, we're talking about the same situation. We were just talking about the unfinished business here, about this, whatever, how something fell apart between you and a soulmate. Yeah, so we have the Five of Pentacles here, okay? So this is the feeling of abandonment, feeling left out in the cold, feeling unwanted, not feeling welcomed, and really getting the cold shoulder from somebody right now or someone's just not opening up emotionally, maybe like they used to, or even perhaps they never did. This person is just right now very almost non-emotional it's like what you get from this person it's like all logic <laughs> it's not coming from the heart it's they don't like feeling vulnerable they don't really like to express what they're feeling but i see here this person and you wow judgment seven of pentacles the nine of swords the Four of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. I see that you two of you are not going to jump into this. Just dive in, you know, nose deep into the situation. You're going to dip your tippy toes in it and see if it's safe. I feel like this person has a feeling you're going to return back in their life and they're accepting that they're okay with it and they want that, but they don't want to admit it. They don't want to tell you, but they see it also as an investment that they've made. And this isn't a connection that they would like readily toss away, but it does really still scare them. I don't know if there are some fears, some doubts. They do have, you know, some... Um, precautions that they like to take i feel like this isn't you it's them you know i feel like this is also there's something that's been kind of haunting them you know they kind of take this to them with them to sleep there's something that's really troubling them and then some words left unsaid is really what i'm getting and it's now reappearing in their dreams or they're having a premonition about it and it's you know, I don't know. I'm like, I'm seeing like, I see reminders of you everywhere. Something is guiding me to you and I don't understand what it all means is coming from your person or this could have been you. Okay. Someone here was avoiding to see, was really trying to turn away and really trying to suppress it and didn't want to admit what this was, but I don't feel like they can anymore with the Empress. There is something coming up with the two of you. I do see this is a nurturing abundance. This is the growth. This is the start of something new. This is almost like the very fertile stages. This is a incubation stage. And you know, if you guys are thinking about marriage or um, starting a family, extending a family now is a very, very um, really lucky time for you and if those of you who don't want to will watch out because this is a very fertile season for you guys virgo i do see here pregnancy in the start of something new I, she is holding her belly okay and the others of you this means growth okay the development the start of something new it could be even a business because you had to grow that too Okay, you could be growing your bank account, you know what I'm saying? So I really do see here, I see a lot of coins. You're working on something here, Virgo. And that's what I was seeing in the beginning of your reading until this was like huge soulmate energy just kind of took over. It was almost like you were working on that and then suddenly a soulmate, twin flame, kind of feeling just consumed you and completely just sidetracked you and kind of came out of nowhere you know blast from the past was what i was getting but something here happened between the two of you now i feel like that's the thing here between you and this person is that they really do feel like they need to say this to you there's something they want to ask you is like do you see it too or have you been noticing this too because i have been seeing reminders of you everywhere this is what i'm getting here virgo if you want to look into this reading we can virgo i definitely enjoy this reading for you guys and we will take a look at their confessions before we <laughs> look at that look i like you and love call someone likes you romance is blooming fun flirting 
want today. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you at this time and letting you know, but we cannot help the fact that they also feel somewhat stabbed in the back or feel a little bit let down by this whole situation. Let me take a look here and see what confessions, if any, do they have right now. <clears throat> For more information about this connection and who this person is. I also get very strong Cancerian vibes. Okay, Cancer and Capricorn for some reason are in this reading. You played with my emotions. That's how somebody feels about it. I was excited to see you, but couldn't get myself to talk to you. So there was a little bit of a nervous jitteriness from you when you saw this person, them, you. I really want you in my life. Oh, damn, you guys actually have said I never want to hear from you again. This was crazy. So someone is maybe involved in a situation right now. And they're wondering here, would you leave him or her for me? Okay, they do like you. They want to date you. Wow, what a reading. Virgo, I'm going to get this reading to you guys. Um, I definitely enjoyed it. If you want details and information on your person, your situation, go ahead and reach out to me. I will leave my email in the description box below. Go ahead and take advantage of the $33.33 lover special to get a quick general overview of your situation. I do offer full and emergency readings as well. And like I told you guys, I am going to be offering very likely works since i'm already saying it, i'm like already putting it out in the universe i guess i'm gonna go ahead and do it um that i will be accepting phone readings in the future and very likely near future if you want to be on the list to get yours down first you have to one have already had a reading with me two email me then i'm going to have to set up some schedule okay scheduling to make that happen and it's going to be for a nominal fee Okay. And I will see you guys and check back in with you, Virgo, in a couple of weeks. Thank you guys so much for your time. I definitely enjoyed your reading. And I'll see you then. If not, I'll see you in your personal reading. Bye, Virgo.